Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. I'm going to play some tarot cards with you today. Thanks for tuning in again. Appreciate you guys. I want to thank you for all of your likes, all your subscribes, all your comments. Taurus, your comments are fun and amazing. Keep them coming. I love them all. Also, I want to thank all of you that reached out to me for private reads. You guys have been a real blessing. Blessing to meet each and every one of you personally. Thank you for all of that. If you want a private read, all that information will be down below on how to contact me, either over the phone or a video recorded one. Thank you for your patience and all that. There's only me here. Appreciate all you guys. Let's uh, play some tarot, huh? This will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. April 2018, mid-month, going into May. Hmm. All right, been shuffling your cards for a while, Taurus. And, and you know, as usual, my cross-watchers, you're absolutely welcome here. And I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Taurus a lot, these may read out from your perspective. Um, they're gen these are generally for who's ever looking at these uh videos right here so with all that being said let's play some tarot let's play some tarot there we go let's go with that right there hey tarot i love team taurus here to play with us today let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good i want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part and help taurus to hear what they need to hear let me see what i need to see thank you for it love team Thank you for it, guys. Can't do this without you. Here we go, Taurus, cutting your deck. Well, Taurus, first card out is Three of Cups. Right in the middle of your world right here. Start with the books, huh? Books talk about um, happy, happy, joy, joy with Three of Cups. You know, it shows the three ladies right there all with their cups raised up to the divine right there, praising source, whoever that is to them. Absolutely raising their vibration up to another level. Coming from this level of cornucopia right here up this stairwell right up here to another level of cornucopia right up here. This card uh, is about uh, meeting new and exciting people. It's about uh, being invited to parties and social events and whatnot. If you're invited to any parties at this particular point in time, I would go. You might meet somebody new and exciting out there. You know, um, Street Tarot always talks about, with the threes, you know, the possibility of a love triangle uh, going on around you. Let's see where these cards go, uh, Taurus. Here we go. Well, we got Hierophant on top of that right there. Uh, interesting opening right here. This is a major arcana, major life force card. It is the Hierophant. Um, he is the Pope of the tarot deck. Um, you know, he's always about committed relationships. Um, and, you know, the life lessons that can go along with committed relationships right here, you know. The, the Hierophant always talks with me about, um, well, he's street-wise and spiritual at the same time. You know, he's also the, t the, the teacher and the student at the same time. It's a very spiritual card, you know. It's definitely connected with the divine right here. You know, I always love the keys to your kingdom right here on top of this. Um, so it's an interesting spread, you know, it definitely talks about a committed relationship. There's no doubt about that. You know, it's got the big M word connected to it, you know, the marriage. So let's see where this goes, you know, uh, six of swords in the, uh, distant past, um, talks about, uh, moving on from troubled times, uh, for many of you, you know, coming out of dark night of the soul. Um, shows up uh, the oarsman right here rowing the boat. Shows some people in the boat right here, and they're definitely heading over to Paradise Island over there. Coming out of uh, choppy waters into much smoother waters up ahead, you know. 
I always see the oarsman as uh, the divine or source. A lot of talk about the divine or source here coming out of the chute with uh, the spread right here. Definitely talks about uh, coming out of a uh, dark night of the soul, you know. And it's got two attitudes right here. It's got the woman right here. She's kind of looking down like, oh, I don't know. Can this really be happening? Uh, it's got the young baby right there, you know, the inner child kind of looking up at the oarsman going, yeah, yeah, this really could be happening. You know, it all has to do, you know, swords or thought process anyway. It's not, got them on the front of the boat right here, like cutting the way, you know, through all the troubled times. You know, it's all about that thought process, you know, um, either, uh, you know, I don't know if this could really be happening, you know, getting better or, oh, yes, it is getting better. Absolutely. Um. Got a first face card that showed up right here. It is the Queen of Swords. She is, uh, well, the name of this card is, you know, the cold face of wisdom right here. Uh, she is my air queen, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini in the recent past. Uh, she is, uh, well, she's the one in the tarot that's got the broken heart, you know, not just a broken heart. Her heart's been put through the blender. It's been pureed, um, you know, zzz, zzz. Um, but she didn't allow that, uh, that brokenness in her to scar her in any way, shape, or form. Uh, she allowed it to turn into uh, wisdom and, dare I say, spirituality as well with all this uh, divinity on the uh, board here. Um, she's brilliant, great with communication skills. Um, exterior, you know, she may be tough. Tough as nails on the outside, uh, but inside, uh, she's uh, uh, soft and chewy, ooey gooey, you know, full of agape love. Um, I really do love my uh, my queen of swords right here. Um, she knows how to be alone. She can be alone, but truly, she really wants to be um with, with with somebody. She wants to be with a mate. Let's see where this is going right here. It's a very interesting spread. Right up here at the top of the spread right here, uh, Taurus, uh, we got the Heroes card showed up. Hooray! Seven of Wands showed up for you, you know. To me, this is the Heroes card right here. You see him right there. He's got the high ground. And, uh, you know, this is somebody that has made up their mind to do what's best for them. Mm-hmm. For many of you, it looks like this could be, you know, come, you know, a little bit of trouble in paradise is really what it looks like to me. You know, with the three cups in the middle right there and the hair fan, you know, a committed relationship could possibly be uh, a love triangle involved in the situation on again, off again, uh, you know, with uh, six of swords, you know, trying to do your best to, to come out of... Uh, the choppy waters and uh, go over to Paradise Island over there, you know, but um, my queen of swords right here, my ice queen, you know, she's she's ready to cut something off right there. You know, that sword's holding up right there. I really, you know, she's, she's, she's ready to cut something off. Um, she's tired of playing games, you know, especially with the seven of wands coming up right here. The hero's card, having made up your mind to, to do what's best for you, you know, to go down the path that you've chosen to go down. You don't care who likes it or who don't like it. But one thing's for sure, not going to put up on anybody's bullshit no more. You know, that's very much evident right here. You know, this 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 queen, she don't play, man. You know, she's she been through it, man. And, uh. She definitely does what's best for her. She absolutely uh, rules her world, you know. Uh, I, I love it for you. You know, Taurus, if you've been going through it, you know, let's do what's best for you. Let's, let's do some healthy selfishness for you, you know. I love it. I love it. I do. Look at this. Um, in the immediate future, we got nine of cups showing up here. A happy, happy, joy, joy card. Once again, you know, um, <laughs> I see Taurus because they've stood up and done what's best for them, you know, that, uh, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy has come into their life here very much. Could very much talk about an on again, off again relationship is what I see here, you know, kind of like an old light switch going on and off and on and off here. Um, nine, of, nine of cups on a downward note can talk about behind the golden curtains, you know, that there's somebody 
involved in Taurus life that um, may not be showing you exactly truly how they feel about you, you know. It's got all the nine cups up on here. Maybe somebody, you know, um, <laughs> partaking a little bit too much, you know. Um, but definitely, uh, let's just stay with that high note that uh, in the immediate future coming up, you know, as we're going into May here, Nine of Cups showed up, wish fulfillment, happy, happy, joy, joy, because of Seven of Wands, because it looks to me very much like Taurus is not going to put up with any kind of foolishness anymore at all in, in their uh, committed relationship, you know. This is definitely about a committed relationship right here with a Hierophant right in the middle of the uh, uh, board right here. And, you know, um, th this major is Taurus. I mean, you're right here. You're right here in the middle of your spread, Taurus. Let's just go for happy, happy, joy, joy, you know. We got three of cups and we got nine of cups on the board. We got seven of wands. Now, standing up and doing what's best for you. And the queen of swords right here, just re ready to cut off anything that's not working for you, you know. If it's not coming out of dark night of the soul, I see Taurus just be like, I'm I'm done with it. I'm, I'm heading to my bliss right here. Mm-hmm. How Taurus sees themselves. Look at this. Look at this super, super nice Taurus. Uh, you know, well, for many of you, Nine of Pentacles is the single card. You know, it's just that one single person right there. Um, and, uh, you know, she's a businesswoman right here as well. She's successful, confident, sure of herself. Um and, uh, you know, this, you know, nine coins right here. You see the coins running all the way back to the big house up there in the beautiful garden. The nice threads on her right here. She has a falcon on her hand right there. What this talks about with me is that this woman right here, she's a falconeer. Not everybody on the planet wants a falcon. But those that do, they come to her. For, and they buy their falcons from her. And they lay out good coin for all these falcons uh, that Taurus has. A niche market. Many of you may be stepping into a niche market. You know, many times, you know, when the love game doesn't work right, go to work, you know, make some coin. Uh, I just love this confidence that I see within you right here, uh, you know, with the wisdom that comes from all of that, you know, uh, games that people play, you know. Um, the seven of wands doing what's best for you. Wish fulfillment coming out of all of that because of the confidence within yourself of Nine of Pentacles right here, Taurus. It's nice. I like this for you. Many of you may be single. Many of you may be single because you're not you're not going to put up with this old love triangle uh, bullshit. I, you know, I say bullshit because Seven of Wands ain't going to put up with no bullshit. Period. Period. I love it for you, Taurus. Here we go. Exterior influence. Oh, we got a face card right here. Got a face card. It is a fire sign. Leo Sagiaries, um, many of you may be uh, interacting with um, a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. My queen of wands here, I mean, uh, it's, uh, you know, she's very good looking to begin with. You know, somebody very good looking. Uh, she's very passionate about life. She is the queen of wands. Um, she's a go-getter. She goes and gets what she wants. She's the life of the party. You know, the party don't start until, you know, Queen of Wands shows up. Uh, she's got the little black cat, you know, right there. You know, she's magic. There's no doubt about it. You know, may have put a little bit of spell out there on some of you Taurus out there, you know. But I see Taurus ain't, ain't falling for that no more, you know. It's like the black cat's upside down, you know. Taurus is all about... Some serious healthy selfishness right here. I really like it for you, Taurus, because it looks like, you know, they could possibly have not been showing you truly how they feel about you. And, um, you know, I mean, Queen of Wands, um, you know, one thing about the Queen of Wands, you know, if you don't pay attention to her, she's going to go find somebody else that will. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I keep looking at that Three of Cups right there in the middle of the spread right here, you know. Um so it looks like, you know, for many of you, there was a fire sign involved in the situation that possibly, you know, been that heartbreak, a soul shaker for you, you know. And it looks like Taurus has just had enough of it with Seven of Wands right up here and heading out to go get their wish fulfillment and, and their coin. You know, we got Nine of Cups, 
and nine of pentacles on this board right here yay taurus go you know what i'm saying don't be waiting on anybody or anything you know nobody knows how to love you better than you know how to love yourself taurus i love this for you right here uh now <laughs> Okay, justice came out, you know, up here in a hopes or fears position. Uh, absolutely, uh, you know, this could be the, the axe falling. It's really what I feel is going on around here, Taurus. You know, it's a karmic scale, it's a balance. It's weighted balance. It's a major arcana, major life force card. It is Libra. That may mean something to you, may not mean something to you. But absolutely, you know, justice in this situation right here, you know, it absolutely looks like if Taurus hasn't dropped the axe already, boy, they're thinking about it. They're definitely thinking about it right here uh, because they want wish fulfillment to come in for them. You know, they're tired of somebody not showing them truly how they feel about them. They're tired of somebody breaking their heart, you know. Um, they want to come out a dark night of the soul and get over there to Paradise Island right here, you know. And it sure looks to me, with Seven of Wands crowning this right here, that Taurus has absolutely decided to do what's best for you. And it don't matter who likes it or who don't like it. Um, uh, and definitely not going to put up with this anybody's bullshit no more, you know. Let's see uh, what we got here coming out. Yeah, Five of, five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. It's a card of... Uh, Lack. It's a card of left out in the cold, you know, like I said, on again, off again. It's not really that super flowery spread, you know, is it, Taurus? It definitely uh, says that many of you Taurus are going to drop the axe on the situation uh, for somebody that um, has just been playing games, just absolutely been playing games, not showing you how they feel about you. And uh, it looks like Taurus is just... Uh, gonna go get their coin you know it's just time for us to go out there and get our coin and go to work you know if uh if uh queenie right here wants to go off and go run around and play looks like taurus says you know enough's enough you know um go on go play it's really what i see here taurus um you know me i love up 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 but there really is up, up, up here because you know if somebody's got you going around in these circles round and round and round and round it's best just to let them go. Absolutely. We all know that. Let's do what's best for us. This is a challenging energy to live in. Let's not live in that broken hearted uh, position no more. Um, five of Pentacles, you know, it shows these two, two people out here in the cold. You know, and in my opinion, uh, they're walking right by this lighted up house right here. You know, um, they should be going up the stairs, you know, uh, up to uh, where the divine is at. You know, this the light always represents the divine to me. Had a lot of had a lot of uh, divine on this, you know. Talks with me about you know tucking up onto the divine, whoever that is to you. Tucking up the source, whoever that is to you. Tucking up with your ancestors and your loved ones uh, that are in uh, non physical five D. And get that right, you know, work on yourself and heal your own heart right here. Heal yourself that way. Because many times we just play in these relationships only in the 3D without getting a divine involved in it. We just go around and around and around in these circles right here. You know, my advice to you is to uh, tuck up onto the divine, whoever that is to you. Uh, because the divine has never left us out in the cold. They've never abandon us any way shape or form they absolutely love us and they absolutely want nothing but the best for us you know absolutely want nothing but the best for us i love this nine of coins and nine of pinnacles that are on this board right here for you taurus bottom of the deck is king of swords it's aquarius libra gemini uh, many of you may be dealing with an air sign we got you know libra as a major arcana right up here um, got a lot of face cards out here on the spread right here. But the king, you know, as an energy over this is really what I would see in this situation. Um, my Taurus friends is that, you know, he is very logical and absolutely um, makes those head over heart 
decisions. And it absolutely looks like many of my Taurus friends are absolutely going to make a head over heart decision right here. Seven of Wands, doing what's best for you. Choosing the path that you're going to go down. Having your defenses up. Setting your boundaries up um, with somebody, somebody that has not been playing with you right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at some of these uh, Romance Angel cards here. Um, not the most flowery one, but a powerful, powerful spread for many of you, Taurus. And, you know, of course, these aren't going to be for every uh, Taurus, sun, moon, and rising on the planet. There's no possible way that this spread can be for it. But this is definitely for somebody out there, you know, um, source encouraging you, you know, to uh, do what's best for you, Taurus. Mm -hmm. I know some Taurus. And um, they've been going through it for a while. Looks like Taurus is finally going to make up their mind to do what's best for them. Good for you, Taurus. Good for you. Hey, Romance Angels, let's throw out three uh, three cards here for Taurus right here. Yeah, wow. Don't surprise me. This came out right here, Taurus. Free yourself. You know, it's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, you know. And, and this guy right here, you know, he's the great thinker of the tarot deck, you know. He's got strategy running through his head all the time. And like I said, he's very logical. And it looks like, you know, a head over heart decision, you know. Head over heart decision. But it absolutely looks, if this lines up with you, that you're absolutely moving in the right direction to free yourself with Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment in the immediate future, and Nine of Pentacles of how you see yourself very confident and sure. And, you know, let's say money in the bank right there. Mm -hmm. Business, you know. Uh, let's do two more for Taurus, please. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Romance Angel. Thank you, Love Team. Here we go right there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't surprise me. It lines right up, doesn't it, Taurus? Love yourself first. It's exactly what I was talking about with this card right here, you know. Tuck up on the divine and love yourself first, Taurus, because truly nobody knows how to love you better than you do. And when you start blessing yourself and loving yourself like that, then the universe gets involved in it. And they start seeing that that's all you're going to put up is, is that high kind of agape love coming to you and start pouring it out to you, you know. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, you know. Free yourself and love yourself first, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very much so. Very much so. You know, let justice, let, let, let justice happen in your life. You know, if you've been pouring more out into this relationship than the other person has, you know, justice has to prevail here on your behalf. Now, this is interesting as well. Um, I don't really know how this fits in here, but it may because some of you may uh, decide to, you know, continue to work with this relationship. We do have reconciliation at the end of it. Maybe as we go into May, it is the last card that's coming out right here. Someone from your past is returning into your life. You may be letting somebody go and letting somebody else come into your life. It's interesting that reconciliation come up. We do have a lot of people on the cards right here. We have air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right here. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Free yourself first. Love yourself first reconciliation came back out really really interesting spread i see taurus is just going to do what's best for you right there confident and sure in yourself mm -hmm. let's do one more one more card for taurus right here please one more major for taurus thank you very much love team interesting spread Star card right there, Taurus. Star card right there. Hmm? Hmm? Maybe many of you are going to back off from the situation and that maybe that's going to wake somebody up. That's really what I see right here, you know. 
The star card is a card of great hope, great faith, uh, the potential for your dreams to become reality. It is a card of healing. It is a card of hope. These are the last two cards that came out. You know, hopefully May is going to be a lot better for you, Taurus, huh? Cleaning house here, loving yourself, freeing yourself here. Um, because uh, you don't get the star card unless you've been through hellfire right here. And this is hellfire, hellfire for Taurus. And it's not something that just started. And they've been going on for a while for many of you. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love the star card, you know. Great hope, great faith. Your dreams becoming reality right here. Look at, look at, look at right here. Yeah, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, and the star card. Yeah, up, 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 Taurus, huh? Up, 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 bright, bright, bright. That's what coming in for, you know, wish upon a star, you know. You know, it is absolutely a, a high uh, 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 divinity card, you know. Tuck into, tuck into higher self, whoever that is for you. you know. Very uh, interesting spread, Taurus. Um, one, one more time, my friends. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Namaste. Love and light. I'll be talking to you soon, Taurus. Bye for now.